Okay, everyone. It's Denise, and it's time to do our guided meditation. A couple days before Halloween, Samhain, All Hallows Eve, whatever you like to call it. So, um, to, tonight's meditation will take us uh, down into a cave and into an amber pool where um, we are going to get ready to meet uh, who we were in a past life and some of us might not have had a past life some of us might have come from um, a different universe star seeds um, so it's going to be kind of interesting to see what we find um, and uh, if you haven't ever had a meditation before, just listen to me and follow along with what I have to say. And it's pretty easy. All you have to do is just calm yourself and let your, you know, just center your energies and just let, let your mind go blank. So what I'd like to do is uh, after the meditation, I'll lead you back out and then I'll ring the bell, which will tell you to come back uh, to tonight and kind of wake up. You're not going to sleep, but anyway, so. Um, okay, so let's start off by um, learning how to protect ourselves. And at this day and age, with everything going on in our world energetically, and for those of you who are empathic, a lot of you pick up on energies and emotions from other people and you take them on as your own and um, you know they cause a lot of problems with you and they're usually not your own energies or your emotions they're from um, the people around you or the events that are going on in the world so this is something that you might want to do daily um, and it's always good to keep yourself protected and one of the easiest ways that I like to do is um, think of a big mirror ball. You know, think, remember the disco balls, you know, back in the 70s? Those big, shiny mirror balls? Well, think of yourself inside of that. And, you, and the mirrors are facing out. So anybody that has bad thoughts about you, um, or somebody's next to you and, and they're having a really bad day, that stuff will bounce off. It will be reflected back at them from the mirror. You know, it'll hit the mirror and it'll go right back to them. So um, that's a really easy, uh, good thing. I just got hit by a bug. Um, something that uh, you want to do daily um, and, and you might find a really huge difference. And then um, I'll also have us be surrounded with the white light. And uh, so anyways, let's get started here and turn off uh, your phones as best as you can. Um, and try not to let outside interference bother you. If you hear a noise, just acknowledge it and let it go. And then go back um, to your meditation. So sit down and get as comfortable as you can and just um, breathe in and out um, slowly and deeply, usually the count of three. Uh, breathe in, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three. So just kind of find your rhythm of breath that isn't forced or is too fast. You know, it's good to take cleansing breaths, um, which will help you to relax even deeper. So, all right, so um, do a few deep breaths in and out and then we want to close our eyes and I am going to surround us with the with the white light and so I'm going to say as above so below energy come energy go white bright light surround me mountain air fire and sea and now envision you standing in the center of a circle and you're holding your hand out or your arm out in front of you and you turn in, in a complete circle and there's a white light coming out of your hand and it's enveloping you from the top of your head 
to beneath your feet. So you are totally, completely enveloped in the white light. So you are now safe and protected. And the only thing that can come in and talk to you is anything that is for your highest good and greater purpose. Okay, so let's begin. And I'm going to start you out at the mouth of the cave. You see a cave in front of you and you start to walk in the cave and you're going to walk down and you can put your hand against the wall of the cave if you want so you can feel as you're going down and you're walking down and you're walking down and you're walking further and you're going down and down and you're still walking down and then all of a sudden you start to see a light, an amber colored light. It's a welcoming light. It's a warm, welcoming light. And you walk towards this light and you realize it is an amber pool. And you look down into the pool and the waters are calm and, the, and, and they're warm and they're inviting and you want to go into the amber pool. So go on in, jump in, dive in, however you would like to jump into the pool and let the warm waters envelop you. Feel the warm waters. It's calming. There's no fear. You're happy and you're swimming in the amber pool and you can feel the liquid rushing along your body and as you feel the liquid you're releasing all negativity and you're releasing all fears and you're opening your mind and you're unblocking and you're just releasing and you're swimming and you're happy and you're just releasing all pent-up emotions from the day emotions from the weak. Let the water cleanse you. You're being cleansed and you're being cleared and you're happy and you're calm. And then you look out beyond the pool and there's a room with a blue, a brilliant blue glow. So you swim to the other edge of the pool and you climb out and you walk towards this blue glow. When you get into this room, you notice that it's a big blue orb. So you walk to the blue orb and you put your hands upon the blue orb. And when you put your hands upon the orb, you feel awakening and you feel open and you feel alive and you're happy and you're calm and there's no fear and the blue energy is coming up your hands up your arms all throughout your body and it's awakening you and opening you and you're feeling happy and you're feeling safe it's almost like you're looking up and you've become part of the universe part of the stars so you turn around and you turn away from the blue orb and you walk towards the amber pool. And as you're walking towards the amber pool, you notice a big veil, a curtain, a drape, a veil. And you're looking at this veil and behind that veil, you know that there's someone waiting for you from a past life and you're excited to see this you're not afraid you're calm and you're happy and you walk closer to the veil and you're ready to allow that which you were in a past life to be revealed 
and the veil falls and there before you is who you were in a past life. Now study who is standing before you. Is it male? Is it female? Could it be a star seed? Where are you from a different universe? Where are you from a different dimension? Study the form in front of you. Take in the hairstyle. Is there any special jewelry? Is there any special clothing? Are they carrying anything or holding anything? Look down and see what kind of shoes they're wearing. And study the form in front of you. It's okay. You're safe. It's who you were in a past life. So take in the form in front of you. And feel free to ask questions. Ask if they have a message for you. Ask if they have a message of healing or a message to help you with something that you are going through right now. Or do they have a message about something from your past? Listen. Some of you might hear them speaking. Some of you might see pictures. And some of you just might have a knowing. You just know. So listen to the form in front of you. Take in what you can see. If they're offering you a gift, accept the gift. Okay. Think form, think your ancestor who was you in your past life. Thank them for coming forward. Thank them for the gifts, the knowledge. Thank them for anything that they've brought for you. And now turn around and dive back into the amber pool. And you're happy, and you're swimming, and you're releasing any negative energies, any fears. And swim to the other side of the amber pool, and go ahead and climb out when you're ready. Now that you're out of the amber pool, we're going to walk back up to the top, back to the mouth of the cave and so we're walking and we're walking and we're climbing higher and we're climbing higher and higher and up and up and there before you is the opening to the cave and you step out of the cave and you're back with us. Now think of think of what you saw from your past. Think of the messages. Think of the pictures. Even if it was just a couple words. Even if it was a flash of a picture. Remember it now. Okay, guys, that's your guided meditation to who you were in your past life. So it would be really interesting to see what 
um, any of you have to say or what you saw. And uh, you know, don't be afraid. It's kind of interesting. Um, I just did one today and actually uh, I ended up going somewhere. So I didn't stay in the cave, but I've been doing this for a long time. So, um, but anyways, go ahead and comment and let us know what you got or if you have any questions or even if you didn't get anything, I mean, you, I, I showed you today how to do it and you can try it again, but just remember to keep yourself protected. And, uh, you know, the disco ball around you, I mean, that's something that you want to do every day, especially for those of you who are empaths, you know, and, uh, and when you're in the shower, you know, the water's cleansing, you know, when you're in the shower at the end of the day and you've had a hard day, you know, just envision all those woes and cares away and down the drain, you know, and uh, so... That's a good thing to do every day. It's good to keep your, your body um, protected, especially with what's going on in our world today. So, I want to thank you for joining me tonight, and uh, I hope you guys had a good journey, and I'll talk to you in a minute.